Wow, look at that left hand. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, he's good. And he's getting better there. You know, this isn't even his game. That's what he's Well, he's, he's adapted. Actually, he told me that when he was a kid, he played one wall in Los Angeles. So it is an entirely strange thing. Actually missed. Yeah, that's one. I love the expressions on the faces of athletes when they do something wrong. Why? They learn how to pronounce S H I T. That's all. No, there's a thousand ways to to grimace and be furious. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. What do you say each time you work? That's an easy one. What do you say? Haven't For you heard me say? It? Haven't you heard me say? It? You got a highlight? You got to do an highlight? Karamba. I would never say Karamba. <laughs> Neither would I. Unless maybe if I were in Canberra. <laughs> Isn't that a large mouse? Oh. The hell is I don't know. He's probably thinking. Yeah, I'll tell you in a minute. And a goody. He's probably thinking, I'm going to have one from column A and one from column B. I'll get three fortune cookies. What's a large mouth? Outside of an agouti. <laughs> also the raincoat. No. Also the raincoat. How about the blazers? Who's got blazers? Yeah, right. Maybe blue blazers? I like it. It's made out of... Uh, Oh! you the guy wearing double the testimony Try to be a Yeah, he's, he's funny. But it's always against you. Yeah, right. Come on, sure, sure. You know, give me an advice. He's half Jewish. He's half Jewish. Pull it out, man. Come on. You're a big singer. You're a good umpire. You want to get him lucky? Good dress. Now, I would never make a sound like that if I was playing. I suspect his sexuality. If a woman plays tennis like that, what does she act like? Yes. But you know, he has no he has no way of dealing with Toddy Sunday. That's what it comes down to. No, 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 don't do it. Oh my god, that ace was coming right at you. <laughs> Okay, Toddy is really doing a number. Not oh, good. That was a great serve, even if it went out. Are these guys from you? These guys, he and there are three other people headed to California. Yeah. 
How we won that doubles game? Yeah. Doubles match? You did? Does this guy support him? Yeah. This? He supported him yeah. or he... Yeah. Oh, oh, what what is that? Oh, that wasn't it. 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 I, I don't even bad. ask animals their age. <laughs> That's because they don't answer. They don't know their age. I'm, I'm very civil to everybody and everything. What's uncivil about asking a female her age? Actually, I'll tell you the truth. I don't want to know anybody's age. It's only because you're getting along in years, right? <laughs> He has to make a spectacular Nine, shot, seven, even seven. to stay in a volleyball with him. Hold oh, that. Honestly, it's it's up to me. No! Give me that three points! Come on! What is your word? Lemon, serving seven. He's losing. Over recover. Oh! That's way to recover it. See, that's a fun course. He gave away three points. Seven, serving eleven. Which Freddy makes a lot of. Crazy and coarse. And Grimace number three Whoa. is. Oh! This guy has either hand to kill anything. But see, that's what you gotta do. Nice hop, you know? Oh! I love to hear people curse at the when you're actually so excited. It's supposed to be very low key to California. They have a different style of being this. No, the rest of the long. Yeah. We see screaming when you're on the line because come on, we're going to get shut out. They don't scream. They get shut out. It's because if they see anybody who's 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 on their feet and who's who's not in a car, they think it's a miracle. Okay, here we go back to this one. Toddy, I don't believe it. What a serve. First team forces Fred off the court, and then he puts the ball on the right. But Toddy is missing. Uh, struggling a huh? little. That's better. Uh, you know, there are all kinds of styles of handball playing. There's the
It was the Fred Silver style, you know. Of, it's kind of like a very dogged style. Get to that easily. I'll find you, no worries. <laughs> I don't know. I've never grunted that much. I would have to talk to a whole bunch of people who grunted. I wish I were one of those people who could burp at will. But you could be Will. Did I hear right? Did you say burp at will? Yes. Did you play Will? Where's Will? Come on. He's waiting to be burped <laughs> at. What a left hand. God. Oh, what happened? I think uh, the ball swerved away from him. Got caught in the weather. Got caught in the glove. Yeah, he set up, and then uh, you know, the ball was out of reach. He had to swim in his arm. He's going to win. He's going to win. Four wall play. He's going to win. Yep. Nice sir, but you know that wow. he has there though. That was a point? No. Yeah, you're expecting it over to the left. And, you know, he didn't execute it all that well. What happened? <laughs> Well, he has got a strategy. He's trying to lift the ball. He's trying to get Tony off the short line. That's something. I don't want him to knock you over. That's why. It's very dangerous to shoot these games, folks. You can get killed out here. <laughs> What Fred has to do is find an offense. Call it. I mean, you hold it. Saved your camera. Is it worth saving? Otherwise, I'll kick the feet out from my. Tip, I'll steal your hat. <laughs> Okay, folks, it's a timeout. I guess we'll take a timeout also. Here we go. Fred Sylvia doing his number. Tidy's behind, 13-16. Nice serve, huh? First time I saw that serve. Second time I saw it. Because Tidy's been serving to the left the whole game, Fred might be a little... 
Perplexed. Okay. Fred's going to come at him now. He's definitely of a fragile emotional disposition today. That was an odd return by Toddy. Hi. Toddy's playing a lot less aggressively than he did in the first game. That is not an aggressive oh. play. Come on! What are you trying to do? Go for the shot. Go for the shot. Down the line, kill. Go for it. Handball players are sometimes two people. Fred Sylvia is one of them. You can listen to Fred Sylvia number one, talk to Fred Sylvia number two. They look the same. Daddy? I don't know who's playing handball, one or two. All right, here we go. Here's Tiny Savannah, who seems to be only one person. He drives the ball to the shoulder of Fred Sylvia. Make a move, and he's not going to return the ball. Wow! Okay, beauty. Observed by Tony. I can't say Archibald. that on television. Overall. Archibald. Okay, okay, folks. Archibald. A-R-C-H-I-V-A-L. Archibald. Archibald. Oh, I remember them. The Albanian Archibald. Sure. What's his first name? Eddie. Eddie. A likely star. Okay. Okay, folks. It's Eddie Archibald. <coughs> against Robert Sastry. Sastry means Taylor in Spanish. He's our Robert Taylor. Is there one game finished? And they just walked away. That's it, folks. Hope you like it. Okay, folks. We're in, we're in the second game now. All right, folks. It's the second game with Sastry versus... Eddie Archibald. I don't know Eddie Archibald. I've never seen him. Oh, are, are you ready to do it? I'm ready. I'm okay. Ready. Okay, let's. Uh, Moving again? Yeah. Anyway, I'm ready. Right here, over here. Oh, it's, it's Maddie Paris. Hi, all right. 
How you doing? Good. So you're the fellow who's been putting Hamble on cable? Yeah. And uh, how wide is that cable? Uh, well, you know, I've said to Albert, you know, I'll shoot him, and I'm willing to go as far as anybody is willing to go. So um, I just want to make sure this is off, not still going. Excuse me. Whoops. Okay, folks, we have here a wonderful handball player, Howie Eisenberg. He was one of the great, um, a great singles player and a legendary uh, player for strength, a great serve, and um, a lot of his classic uh, encounters with Steve Sandler and others are, uh, have been captured on video, as a matter of fact, which is happened to very few handball players. How do you feel about the quality of handball as you're seeing it uh, now? Is it up to the uh, to the to the great days or of your uh, prime? No, I, I think the great days of one wall handball were uh, probably the late 20s through the uh, early 50s, um, and the reason for it uh, was the depression that people. Uh, didn't have alternatives to handball, and uh, handball was a very cheap, poor man's sport, and literally millions of people played handball in New York City. It was the most participated in sport in the metropolitan New York area by adults, and uh, thousands of women played handball, and naturally with that big a one-wall handball is what I'm talking about, and having that big a, uh, a population of players to draw from, uh, resulted in you know the cream coming to the top and there was more cream in those days I'm talking about you know an era even way before my time with people that I've heard about uh, like Sally Goldman Jack London they were probably the 20s through the uh, early 30s and then the players of the late 30s who I got to see in the uh, middle and end of their primes like Vic Hershkowitz Moe Ornstein and uh, a whole bunch of players of that era, I feel there were more great players of that era than in my era. In my era, there were perhaps uh, seven or eight of us that could have played with, with those guys. Um, and, you know, my understanding is that in quantity, there was uh, a larger number of really great handball players. And then in the, the next era, which you might say is the... Uh, you know, when Torres dominated uh, one wall singles for about five, six years, that in itself is a tip off that, um, um, you know, the, the quality of play was going down because, in fact, Torres is about the same age as Kenny Davidoff. And uh, when Davidoff was champion, you know, and I was getting to the finals or whatever, Sandler was getting to the finals or winning, uh, Torres was not really. Um, uh, winning, uh, you know, or getting even to the quarterfinals of those tournaments. Now, I grant that Al uh, possibly got better, you know, as he got into his 30s, he may have gotten better. Um, but, you know, even granted that Al was a player of our caliber, which I, I, I'm sure he was. I mean, in my 30s, I played doubles against him. I wasn't as good anymore, but um, Al and, and Durso were head and shoulders above anybody else who played. Uh, and uh, in this particular tournament, it's real interesting because uh, we've got a number of four-wall players uh, who have virtually never played this game. And um, David Chapman lost in the first round uh, to a player who's a fairly good player, but certainly not a great handball player, who then lost in the next round. Um, and Chapman... Uh, um, doesn't play one wall, it doesn't really have the skills for one wall, because one wall is a game where you need to actually hit the ball hard. Uh, hitting the ball hard is a tremendous asset in one wall. David is a, a very uh, intelligent player, tremendous court sense, and if given enough time, he'd probably figure this game out. I don't think he could ever be a great player. But if you look at uh, Nati Alvarado Jr. and uh, Tati Silvera, both of whom are now in the quarterfinals, and uh, uh, Nati has played a total of uh, three times, I believe, before he came down here. And then uh, Tati played about five or six times. I tried to teach him some in California, uh, you know, some of the strategies of one wall and some of the, the 
effective shots. Those guys could be great, great one world players if they play. I mean, they, they, they actually have better equipment than I did. They both have super opposite hands. And uh, Nadi Jr., for one, is uh, faster than, than I was. Um, I don't, and, you know, and, and Tati has tremendous power with both hands. Runs very well. They both have uh, real good stamina. So these guys could be uh, great one world players if they played, but you know what's going to happen is they'll go back to California and play mostly four wall and some three wall. So for a long winded answer to your question, I believe the caliber of play has gone down. I have not seen uh, Maisonette play. I understand that he's a tremendous handball player. You know, he did win the singles the last two years. Uh, I mean, he won the singles last year, the doubles the last two years. So I'm sure he's a really quality player. Um, but, you know, there's only a few of them. What I can say about some of the one-wall players I've seen, as well as four-wall and three-wall players, is that the uh, truly or, or almost ambidextrous left is something that's, that's prevalent in the players of today. There's so many players that have lefts that can pound the ball almost as hard as, as people hit it righty. Um, you know, even Eddie Archibald on this court over here just finished. He hits the ball tremendously lefty. It's a matter of control. But, I mean, that's a, a basic uh, a talent that can, um, can make for a champion. It's a matter of uh, getting it under control with a certain amount of, uh, you know, court savvy and strategy. Okay, now, um, I was wondering about the decline in, uh, could, could that be because of the, um, the lack of ability to, uh, to learn how to use anguish and pain? I talked to Toddy, and I know he went through some uh, pretty heavy emotional times in his, early, in his early adolescence. And I suspect that some of the ferocity that he has as a player has come out of a focus of those primal energies. And I wonder if the affluence of, of the last half of our century has deprived a lot of, of people of access to those energies. Um, I think the affluence has resulted in people playing other sports. They play tennis, they play golf. Uh, I think, uh, I don't think it's a matter of being hungry like the, the old fighters and uh, frankly, I don't know what Tati had to say about his uh, early beginnings affecting his will to win, but uh, Tati certainly um, uh, doesn't have almost the meanness that we had. I mean, it was a war when we played. Uh, Tati is a gentleman on the court, and I, I can't ever uh, presume to uh, take that title, you know, in my competitive days, and even today playing. I'm certainly not a gentleman on the court. I mean, it was, who knows what psychological uh, reasons uh, drove me that way, but um, I don't really think it had much to do with affluence or, or uh, you know, uh, being poor. You know, I happened to grow up in a lower middle class income uh, family, but it was handball was, uh, was the milieu. I, I was very competitive. My nephew was a great athlete. We were always competitive with, with each other and competitive with, with um, you know, whatever sport we played. And handball was the sport. When we played handball, it, it was a war. I mean, tournaments were not fun. They were, they were wars. So you were a warrior. I guess so. I guess so. I mean, it sounds like an aggrandized description, but, uh, but it was uh, it was not this. Excuse me, uh, Alphonse and Gaston stuff that you, you sometimes see today. Less so in one wall than in four wall. Right. Uh, I have the impression that in four wall, it's so hard to get on a court, and uh, you know, almost anybody can walk on a, on a one wall court. There's almost a freedom, a kind of, of a democratic feeling almost a populist feeling that happens in, in one world? That everybody is equal on a certain level? I don't know about equal, but it, it is... Uh, uh, I, I much prefer uh, being able to come down to a park and being able to get a game at, at my convenience rather than arranging a game. And, and that is the case with, with one wall, as well as three wall. You know, I play three wall in Venice Beach, and I think that the, um, the ethos in outdoor games is uh, is more rough and ready, and, you know, whether it's Sydney, Australia, uh, or uh, Detroit, Michigan, where they play uh, three